Okay, so I wanted to show you a um, plugin. It's free. And uh, if you have the Max Ableton Live 12 and the Max for Live, and it's called Chord Palette, um, the link portion is just a part of it. But um, what it is, is it's linked to the um, MIDI transport bar here with the transform options. So it adds in another option called a user option called Chord Palette. And this is what it looks like. And so basically, you can see here that you have, hold on one second, I forgot to mute that. I'm gonna have to mute that when I do recordings because I forget the phone goes off. But anyway, so basically what it has is the um, major, minor, diminished, suspended. But then if you click on one, you can get any of those chords. So this reminds me, and you can make user chords, reminds me of, um, like FL Studio when people draw in their chords or whatever. It's that kind of vibe that you're adding to Ableton and you can do inverts. So you can place, for instance, I place these on just as some random, I lock the scale to here so you can see the notes which are in scale. And then I just placed them randomly and then made about four copies. And then I went through each copy, I would select them all like so. And then I would just find the, the chord I want, just whatever sound good to me, and put those on. And then after I finished getting all the chords that sound good, they were just straight bars, right? Then I went into strum. And I wanted this one to to be like a, like a um, I'm gonna call it a down strum. I think these would be like, this might be up down strums and this is like the up strum. So anyway. So then I put it together and then I got this. Just that simple. And literally all I did was, doesn't really matter which ones you pick, select them all, go back to the chord palette. And let's say I wanna make this a minor, but I want it to be like a minor seven, okay? As soon as I have whatever I have selected, if I hit minor set, it's gonna change that. So watch, I'm gonna do some inverts to show you. Hold on, I gotta select it. <laughs> so then if I start inverting it, let's see. I wonder if it's not doing it because I'm on the actual one that's already there. I may not wanna do it, let's see. You know what, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's make another track and I'll just show you real quick on there. That'll be easier. Duplicate. All right, so let's pretend that none of these are strum, so we'll have to go in and go back to strum and just fix them. Okay, this should be all straight for the most part. All right, let's go to chord palette. Let's say this set of chords, I wanna put them on minor six. Then when you touch this button over here, that's what I forgot to do. If you touch this button over here, it's gonna convert it to a minor six. So now it sounds like this. But let's say I wanna invert it. See how I just move the invert and it gives me different variations, inverted variation. Don't like that. It's okay. Terrible. <laughs> I say terrible. So do you see what I'm saying though? If I don't want that, I can just say, you know what, I want this to be a minor seven, then hit that and it goes. That's a minor seven shell. Let me see if I can just let's do a minor nine. So this is a minor nine, but it's missing some notes. So let's see, let's just add a few more notes in at random. These are a little bit longer than the other ones. Minor nine. Let's try some inverted versions of it. So if you know what inverts are, it's just moving the certain notes. Let's say this note is here. It might move that note up to this one. You know what I'm saying? This is the same note. It's just going to move it to where. So now 
That sounds a little better. But now let's say, and then I would go in and I want these all strummed. So I would just transform and use the strumming pattern and then you can adjust it and they'll adjust slightly. So it sounds like a strum. It's crazy. So in my opinion, this is one of the best features that you'll get you have access now by the way core palette is free at this moment of recording you need to go to mgfaudio.gumroad.com and download his chord palette that's free he also has youtube videos if you look up mgf audio chord palette you'll find him there and you can watch the video and in his link it'll be the gumroad address i'll put the gumroad address in my um in my description so that you can see it and then um you could get it if you're going to get ableton live 12 now you can't do it with 11 you have to have 12 i'm actually in the beta version of 12 right now just showing you this so just know that you have to have 12 to get this um and if you're on the fence about buying it i think it's worth the upgrade price if you have never bought ableton um and you're thinking about it maybe for future Sometimes if you buy it, you'll catch it on sale. Sometimes if you buy it toward the end of the year, if they're coming out with a new version or something like that, then they'll give you a free upgrade. But I doubt when they drop 12 in a week or so from now that you're going to see an upgrade for about another couple years. So if you're really going to get it and you just want to go Ableton, I say go all in. You you won't lose. I promise you it's it's you enjoy it. It's um especially if you don't mind working in the DAW setting if you don't want to work in a DAW setting, then it's just not going to be for you. Okay. That's just about, you have to be wanting to work in a DAW setting to do this. But I can tell you like this, if you get a controller and a computer and you, and Ableton works on PC as well as Mac, so you don't have to have a MacBook or a Mac uh, computer, you can, you'll enjoy it. It's just a lot of fun. And every time I get in here, I think of something new to try or something different. So I'm never bored. People say they get bored with DAWs is because they go in and do the same thing every time they get on the DAW or they're making the same type of music or they're not trying to learn nothing new. That's why you're bored. Of course, you're going to get bored. Who wouldn't? Um, so anyway, take a look at this um, if you're interested in it. I got a bunch of videos on Ableton. There's a ton of good people out there that make Ableton videos. Um, watch some of those videos. See if it sparks you and makes you want to create in it and then go for it check if you're into soul r&b kind of funky and good stuff like that kaylin ellis check out his videos he has uh these um available to you that he built these are like racks for your ableton to help your stuff so you like i put saturation on these this is a um npc npc studio uh keys and it's basically the vst right i'm just using that and then all i did to make it a little bit beefier and give it a little grit is put some saturation on it this is the ableton saturation all these are built-in plugins to ableton so um anyway that's all i got for this video just wanted to show you guys that really good uh feature that's in ableton don't forget you can set your um scale now which is amazing and having it set shows you all the notes in the key so all you have to all you have to do is plug in random notes till you get a sound you like i mean it's you don't even have to fully understand um, music theory to do that. So anyway, that's it. I'm out. You guys have a good one.